our last uh, stop is Magdalene Farm. down you don't you, you don't pet the horse when the ears go down they bite that's the sign they're gonna bite and if the ears are down you just watch out They are aggressive and they tend to bite. She's not in a good mood, just watch. Okay, she's okay. Now they know visitors are here, so they're all out and waiting. they like to do and so it's getting hosed down. You guys must be horse whisperers or something because they sure like it. Oh do you? Okay so that's the reason. 
So this one's called uh, Gracie's uh, Dream. Tapping with his feet because he wants to lose his food around. You hear him? Tapping with his feet? Yep. Let's see. Give me my food. I want my food now. Saying this horse uh, was hurt or injured, and they bandaged his leg, but uh, they put cayenne pepper on it to keep the horse from biting the bandage off. Like this. So the uh, guide was uh, informing all the uh, young kids not to pet the uh, male horses because they uh, tend to be a little aggressive and can bite. He's a pretty boy, but he's got a lot of attitude. So they'll probably, he had a bandage, so it looks like they just took him tell his leg is kind of messed up right there. But he had orange coloring on that bandage because he, he tried, kept trying to pull it off. What does he say his name is on his arms? Uh, 139. That's his name. That's his name. We don't like cool? the gold. But he will like definitely rip you up. Oh, yeah, brush your teeth, babe. Um. <laughs> <laughs> he's a pretty horse, though, man. Oh, he's trying to suck you in. I guess. Now, she has a bandage on her leg. She has a full injury. But she's only two years old. She'll start racing next year. I know, right? He's keeping an eye on me. In the west. In the There you go. So that's the name of the uh, gray horse here. 139. Over here we do have... 